process on this record was a little bit different than the other records. The other records, we kind of demoed everything up in our studio. Um, and we, you know, we flew in everybody and we kind of worked on the songs together with the drummer and, you know, like, hey, Gene, here's the songs we kind of worked up. You know, have 11 days, kind of go through them, get them down. Um, on this record, I didn't have that time. We started this one in May and um, we knew coming right up to the point of uh, when we finished the Slayer tour, we had like two or three months that we knew that we're not gonna book anything and just focus on getting the record done. And um, we knew if we didn't record the record by June 15th, by the time we went to Europe, there wouldn't be a record in this year. So we knew we had to get it done. What we did is, um, with Gene a little bit, but more so the ghost drummer, Alex Bent. I have like a little home studio basement thing. Logic, everybody's in earphones. Just record live jams of riffs, let Chuck hear them. He'd come out, sing to them, mumble to them, whatever. And then send everybody an email of the songs. You know, once we get something in pretty much concrete of what we want to do. From there, we took it to the studio with Gene. You know, he had given the demos of what we did and we just went for it. Just looking at Gene's schedule and just kind of put the pressure on us, put our backs against the wall, and we thought maybe that's gonna kick it in and just get it done a little sooner, you know? But going into it, we were still kind of, had a lot of unfinished songs going into the studio. I mean, it was like, Gene's coming in, I know he's got seven or eight songs demoed that he's heard, we're going for it. I got 13 days with him. And I know he was kind of like, I don't got all of them. And I'm gonna look, the songs you got, that's how they're gonna go, minus or plus a couple of parts. Maybe they'll be extended or they'll be shortened, but that's the bulk of, 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 the, of the plate right there. I know that added, for me, just a lot of tension and you know emotion going on this record, you know, between me and Eric. And you know, I, I would imagine Gina and the rest of the guys, same thing. They got in the studio without hearing all the finished tunes either. You know, I imagine it was a little frustrating for everybody, but I think maybe having that frustration and back against the wall and not time to double guess the writing of the songs and what, what we created, maybe it was what had to go through and what had to happen for us to get out this record like it did, because sitting back at the end of the day, it's like, holy shit, this record actually, I think, you always tried out to so I think we did on this one. I mean, it was really that and this. It wasn't like, yeah, let's work on this part, and like, you know, hey, this part, you know, no, I'll do this role. I mean, there was no time for that. And that's what's so crazy about this record is it came out so good that I had a lot of time to prepare for it, but the other guys didn't, so it put more of a producing role on my shoulders on what, as far as telling everybody what, you know, what to do, kind of. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm telling everybody what to do. It's more like, I know what needs to be done. Just trust me, and I had a little bit of trust, but I think in the end, I think it came out to where it's like, okay, Eric's got this. We accomplished what we tried to do, you know, making it faster and cleaner and, and sonically more appealing, and I think we hit all those on the record. Whatever we had to go to get to this end, two years of writing, going crazy, you know, fights, not even worth bringing it up. The record's done, we got it done. We all had to go through what we did. And here we are, the better product at the end of the day. Thank <laughs> you.